Soup, my favorite food group. It's soup season. I love soup season. What's up guys, it's Kat and Dad from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another vegan recipe. Today, we're gonna warm you up with some spicy, warm, hot soup. Soup, my favorite food group. It's soup season. I love soup season. Devin hates it, but Devin likes soup, so. I get you like it. like soup, right? I, okay. I like soup, but. Hates the season, likes the food. It's okay. <laughs> some soups I don't like though, so there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we made a nice butternut squash soup. I remember last year you said there's never too many soups, so we're gonna make a lot of soups. Actually, I don't know if that's true, but we're making soups. What kind of, what's the twist on it today, though? Uh, today's a butternut squash soup, my favorite squash. But. Or nut. <laughs> 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 um, it's a Thai almond butternut squash soup. That's the twist. It's a Thai twist. Yes, with almond butter in it. It's so good. Before we get into the recipe, be sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any future recipes. We do Whatever Wednesdays every other Wednesday and we've got some fun stuff coming up for the end of October and December is always a fun time on this channel. Yes. You don't want to miss... How to Vegan the Holidays. Yeah. My oh, favorite series. Feels too early to talk about that. <laughs> Anyways, should we get into the recipe now? Yes. Okay. To make your Thai almond butternut squash soup, you're going to start by preheating the oven to 350. Then to a lined baking sheet, you want to lay out some diced butternut squash, diced Spanish onion. Then you're going to add in some crushed garlic cloves, as well as some Thai chilies. Uh, we're only using three for this recipe, so one of them we de-seeded, the other two we left the seeds in, but then we're also roasting additional ones for just like garnishes and kind of food photo stuff, so. Then you're going to top it with some salt and pepper as well as some ginger and onion powder and toss that so it's all nice and coated. Then you're going to bake it for about 20 minutes or until the squash is fork tender. Then to a high speed blender, you're gonna combine water and some bouillon paste and blend that until it's combined. And then we're gonna add the remaining ingredients which includes the squash bake, you're gonna add it all to the blender along with some soy sauce, fresh cilantro, and almond butter and just blend it until it's nice and smooth. Oh dang! It's spicy, I told you! Oh my god! You okay? That's really spicy. Is it good though? It's really good. I might need to make it less spicy next time. Yeah, you can take the seeds out of the Thai chilies if you want. Um, I've also had those Thai chilies for a while so they get hotter as you kind of let them sit. So that might be the reason also. You would also add some like vegan dairy to this. Some like non-dairy milk. That'll tone down the spiciness a little bit. Some sweetness. Maple syrup, something like that. Tone down the spiciness. I love the flavor so much, but mm. I gotta stop eating it because I think my mouth is on fire. <laughs> ha! It's so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I'm all warm inside. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm very, very warm. Mm -hmm. So good. But I love this soup so much. I think it's so unique, mm -hmm. so delicious. Very easy to make. If you're super sensitive to spice, you can de seed the chilies. The chilies itself are hot anyways. If you really don't want to, I know this is a Thai almond butternut squash soup, but you can leave the chilies out if you don't want any of the chilies. Or like half a chili, yeah. just less chili. It is really good with the, that flavor though. Yeah. I want the flavor. I just, I'm just, I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's horrible. Like, I don't know what it is. Normally I'm pretty sensitive to spice. I like spice, but yeah. I'm still sensitive to it. But I don't find this, like I know it's hot, but mm -hmm. I don't find it that bad. 
I just don't know if I could get through the whole bowl without food. This is a big bowl though too. But yeah, if you added a little bit of, even like a drizzle of coconut oil on top Ooh. too, it'll tone down the spice a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Did we talk about squash last year? Probably. I want to talk about it again. Talk. What is your favorite kind of squash or gourd? What we you... definitely talked about this Did last we? year. This sounds like such a you question. <laughs> I just like to know what people's favorite squashes are. What's your favorite squash? Butternut. I love butternut squash. My it two is my favorite, favorite ingredients right in the name. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Butternut squash is my favorite. I also really like acorn squash. Really yummy. I love pumpkin. Pumpkin's good. Yes. Jack o' lantern. So talk about squash, talk about soup, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, do you have a specific question you'd like to know that's tied to this? That's tied to this? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite soup pun? <laughs> And you know what? Can we just talk about puns? I just want some puns in my oh, life. Oh, okay. So we're talking about puns. We can talk about gourds, too. Gourds and puns. Yeah, whatever you... We want your gourdest puns. <laughs> we want some gourd puns. Or your punniest gourds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is this spice making us a little bit weird? <laughs> Maybe. I think it's also been a long day. Okay, that's going to be it for this recipe. As usual, it will be linked in the description box below, as well as a link to our podcast. Sorry, my mouth is still kind of on fire, so it's hard to talk. We talk about things like veganism, how we make our recipes, <laughs> trending news topics, so go check that out. It's called TMG Unfiltered. We also have a link to our Patreon account. That's a community that we've built so that you guys can help support the work that we do, and we give back to you because you're supporting us. Yes. So if you are, what's it called, the TMG early bird? Yeah, you would have had this recipe. Yesterday. yesterday so that it's kind of cool because like if you get it yesterday you can get all the ingredients and kind of make it with us yeah yeah um if you're a tmg mukbanger you get to enjoy some exclusive mukbangs where we eat a bunch of food get really super weird and just talk about whatever we want or this you guys is gonna be fun it's gonna be obviously halloween yes fun. and you guys can recommend questions or topics for the mukbangs it's a fun time also if you're a tmg advisor which is the lowest tier but you could like help us create these videos. You give us topics, you give us topics for the podcast. Mm -hmm. We ask polls, so, like we're gonna do a Halloween Pinterest episode, of course. Uh, we ask you what kind of Pinterest recipes you want us to do and things like that. You kind of get to be a part of the creation process. Yeah. You get to vote on which cookbooks we review, all that kind of stuff. And again, please make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future recipes from us. And then whatever Wednesdays, every other Wednesday, and then maybe random videos, like vlogs or like, vlogs. you never know. Are we doing vlogmas this year? You never know what's gonna happen. It kinda looks like a stupid. Um, sorry. That's all. You, you that's can all, playing folks. With the soup. Give it a thumbs up if you like playing with your soup. Love playing with my soup. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you need to get a costume. Okay, FYI. stop yelling at me. Get a fucking costume. It's literally September 8th. Yeah, but you, we film ahead of schedule. Okay. We need it for in two weeks. You don't have your costume. I'm going to get it. I know what it is, though. You don't know what your costume is. I don't know why you're yelling at me so much. I'll get my costume the day before, right before no. the store closes. No. <laughs> now I'm going to on purpose. No. Okay, let's not fight. <laughs>